Hey guys, Kevin here. Um, I want to talk to you guys a little bit about downsizing or using uh, smaller baits for, for walleye fishing. Last year and this year has really opened up my mind to trying new things. Uh, you know, previous years and all growing up, we used jigging wraps, ripping wraps, big blade baits, rattling spoons, buckshots, all these different things. And I mean, last year it was an eye opener and it's the same thing as back in Clear Lake, which is just driving me crazy. We're catching 25, 26 inch walleyes, eel pout on, I'll show you, just a tiny, tiny tungsten jig tipped with a minnow head. And for all my buddies watching back home right now, they're gonna be, I know what's going on, because that's what's been happening last two years on Clear Lake. And I think it would probably happen on a lot more lakes if we had people trying it. So I don't know if you can see that or not. This jig I've had on for the last five days. I got up here Tuesday, it's beat up, the paint's starting to come off. It caught me a 32 inch pike, 26 inch walleye. Scott's first ever eel pout that was probably eight to 10 pounds. Multiple slot fish in that 20 inch range, one jig. It's still got a bite, still still hook or sharp, but that's it. Everybody might want to laugh, but that little thing has been dynamite. Um, obviously colors are a little bit different. We didn't use much glow red back home, but up here on Lake of the Woods, glow red is kind of that, that go-to color. So um, if there's anything I can teach you guys or tell you guys is try downsizing the next time you go out to that rock pile, next time you go to that reef. These fish are feeding on uh, shrimp, they're feeding on crawfish, all that kind of stuff. Well, I mean, it's about the same length as a, a shrimp and uh, crawfish doesn't look a whole lot different when this thing's bouncing on the bottom. So, um, small presentations with a big impact. So, yeah, that's, that's something you guys need to try and uh, I hope you do and I hope you catch a lot more fish and take a kid fishing and let's have a good safe season. Thanks.